As long as there is a fire on the mountain, so long shall hearts endure in a flame of hope, a hope that yet casts forth a light and a fire all-consuming to devour all death and hell that it would array itself upon the nations. Therefore, let the fire burn on in the holy mountain of God, in the hearts of keepers of the flame. For this fire on the mountain that is now white fire, now golden yellow, violet, or blue, now emerald green or ruby, or in the power of the purple or the aquamarine, this fire that does embrace all rainbow rays of God and the secret rays, beloved, this fire does cause us to think upon the coming of the Ancient of Days, when a spiritual fire was first kindled at Shambhala, the place prepared for our Lord. There it was, beloved, that the magnificence of the Flaming One did appear, and all at once the great glow of fire in the earth did signal to all life and all cosmos that earth had received a new impetus for freedom. And if freedom, then the choice once again to choose to receive the engrafted word, to be reignited by the flame of that flaming one who had come. Thus field and stream and flower and mountain and those burdened by the weight of a night of darkness all felt the glow and the fire. And once again, earth was in the running for the path of initiation unto Christhood and Buddhahood. Blessed hearts, it is as though it were the hour of the second coming, the second coming of our Lord, Sanat Kumara. It has been long time since a people, even spread abroad on the earth, have spoken his name or sung to his flame. How I love to join you in singing to that wondrous fiery flame of Finlandia and there to enter even the heart of the earth, where for a time, in periods when barbarians would rise again, the sons of light would enter the earth and there abide until renewed opportunity should come to once again pursue the children of God on the surface in an attempt to quicken them, to separate themselves out from the creations of the mass mind. Thus, beloved, in cycles since the coming of Sanat Kumara have the light bearers served with intensity midst civilizations. And then again, even without taking the ascension, they have been required to retreat. While in the planetary plan, there was an outpicturing of the forces of chemicalization and upheaval generated by the intense karma made within the nations and perpetrated upon them by these fallen ones. Therefore, I have chosen you to hear a certain sequence of scenarios that have occurred in these centuries that you might see that the enemy never sleeps and never stops. Their plans are imitations of the Great White Brotherhood, point, counterpoint, as you have been told. When you amass all of these crimes of the fallen ones against humanity and the sons of God, surely, as the one who ought to sit in the seat of judge of this nation does not, and as you yourself sit in that seat, by Christ's discrimination, it is evident that the hour prophesied in Enoch of the ultimate judgment of the watchers and their seed, 
and also of the Nephilim gods who would not bend the knee before the Lord is, is come. Thus, beloved, they need not commit any more crimes to be judged guilty as charged by the Divine Mother to be summoned to the court of the sacred fire. Blessed ones, this is not a simple matter. To withdraw these evolutions from the earth planet would leave such caverns and openings in the earth as their substance were removed to unbalance and unhinge a planetary body. If you begin to think how entrenched these fallen ones are everywhere, it has been the decision of the Cosmic Council to leave a civilization to remain intact while yet some and the many should find the path of the ascension and the way back to Maitreya's mystery school. Thus, beloved, choices made by cosmic councils are not compromises. They are always and always a putting forth of grace to those emerging, those awakening, those fervent hearts. Therefore, we come not to make predictions per se or declarations, but to tell you that as the violet flame intensifies on behalf of the people of God and the weight of world condemnation of the fallen angels, those Luciferians put upon them, as that is transmuted and every burden and vestige thereof. These pillars of violet flame in the earth can be a grid of light whereby the outcome even of their judgment and removal may be far less discomfitting and disturbing to the planet. I remind you then of the great teaching given to the messenger for every black magician that is taken there must be a Christed one one in whom there dwells the living Christ to fill that vacuum, to fill that vacancy, lest the very vacancy itself become, as in physics, a means for the undoing and the imbalancing of a planet. Nature abhors a vacuum. It will either be filled by the Christed ones or an even greater evil. Therefore, you have come to the mystery school and you are being given mighty teachings and very strong reasons as to why you should pursue with haste the integration with the fire of the mountain. The fire upon the mountain that is burning is a source of sacred fire to all peoples of the earth who shall turn to serve their God. It is a source and a force to negate all misuse of nuclear power. The fire must burn on, it must increase, it must have many hearts nourishing it. Dare we think that one day in the near future there will be this many who are gathered here in surplus of the necessities of the service of the day-to-day -day activities of this headquarters, who on a rotating basis could give the perpetual ritual of the 24 hours fulfilling the need of the great divine director for the filling in of the planetary body in the mighty blue sphere. Blessed ones, stadiums fill for weekly sports events worldwide. It is not impossible that keepers of the flame should suddenly be raised up by miracle, by call of my heart of Saint Germain, by call of all hearts, for it is in keeping with the will of God. Fear not then, for these keepers of the flame who are called shall raise up a light to also defend the integrity of the land and the organization. Let us all then incline our ears to the Lord Sanat Kumara and rest our heads upon his breast that we might know again the heartbeat that we knew in the very bosom of Abraham, 
that we hear again as Abraham's heart was indeed a vessel of the Ancient of Days. As we turn our gaze to the earth, we see momentums continuing as begun. Momentums of evil keep rolling. Momentums of light, they are on the increase. In many areas, the momentums of evil have been decelerated by the calls of the keeper of the flame. But beloved hearts, as the karma descends daily, this adds fuel to the hellfires that move across the earth. When in battle, standing against relentless forces, the Commander-in-Chief can only say, keep on, brave knights and ladies, keep on, light bearers, torches through the night, and the heart's devotion to the fight to win. When at any hour of the day or night, somehow at the emotional level, the enemy convinces any child of God that the hour is futile and the battle is lost. This is a seed sown of individual spiritual suicide. One must fortify oneself for the victory with a sword of Serapis, with the fire of the Divine Mother he embraces. One must have a resilience of springtime to be able to soar then into the heavens and the earth beneath the streams and under the earth, to frolic with undines and to know the grace of salamanders. Blessed ones, the battle is not to the rigid but to the strong who bend with the waves and the wind and know themselves blending into the seas and the higher atmosphere. In the heart of Helios and Vesta they soar, as on a trajectory, and return to the place of service, recharged. There is no fear of death or the future in those who understand themselves as a movement, a wave of light, if you will, passing through time and space in this sphere. I, Saint Germain, come to stretch the mind this way and that, and the heart as well, to give the soul pause to realize that she is not shrouded in mourning garb, but may walk from these and enter the bridal gown. And the veil itself signifies the sealing of that which was rent and the restoration of a virgin consciousness in the heart of Mary. Let us not allow world karma and world condemnation to weigh heavy upon our ranks. When the violet flame is handy on tape and in the heart, I am there. Let it play and sing. Let it pass through the crystals and the rock. Let it become the lining between the marrow and the bone. Let it become the inner cell walls and a part of the arteries and veins. Let the mind be a conflagration, a violet flame preceding the infilling of illumination's golden flame. One must displace matter where one is. One must enter into infinity, for in the infinite sense of life, you can lose nothing in the fight, but only gain sphere upon sphere of integrity, integration with Krishna's heart, the Lord Christ in many manifestations does come. Beloved ones, this year is truly a year of testing, self-testing, I would add, whereby you may see against the backdrop of events and challenges to be met, where is the standard and where is the measure of a self, of a man, of a woman, of a child? Is it not good to stretch oneself a mile high and to know the glistening ice on the peaks 
and to descend swiftly to the center of the mountain to find the fire of the ruby ray Buddha. Blessed hearts, I bring comfort and I say, the hourly and daily calling in the name of the Lord for the judgment of the betrayers of mankind is at hand. Let the judgment descend, I say, for so long as it is delayed, so long will they continue the slaughter of the light bearers, the sweet peoples of the earth. How long must they lay down their lives? No longer than you allow it, for the cup of the wrath of the Lord God is filled. I say then, violet flames side by side with the judgment. This then is the opening of space, space unknown. You open a place before you. You think it is a singular space, but in that space, there is a squaring of space itself until compartment upon compartment can be retrieved space and time may be not what you think they are but coordinates that can be adapted by the mastery of the heart of christ within you for uses to confuse outrun and outdo these fallen angels they have had their day they have nothing left they are as shrinking heads already shrunken as some vestige of the past that an ancient tribe might put upon a totem pole. Blessed ones, believe me, they are self-emptied, and the power of hell that uses them can also be beaten, for our Lord, Sanat Kumara, is truly here. Here in the planet, here occupying where you are, here and there everywhere, and the force of the anti-mind dare not cross his path. Therefore, when giving the judgment call, any judgment call precede it. In the name I am that I am, Sanat Kumara, Gautama Buddha, Lord Maitreya, Jesus Christ, Elohim, I decree. Let the powers of all octaves and angelic and archangelic hosts answer the call of the sons and daughters of God and the children of the light for the binding and the judgment of this seed of the wicked, thereby preventing their proliferation further of war and chaos. Let the hour of the enlightenment of a people come. All of the foregoing I have said to you regarding preparation does remain the need of the hour. I simply come to carry your consciousness as I would carry the Christ child over the river of the astral plane to take you to the heart of the living God. The living God is in your midst and not far from you. Receive my heart, beloved, all of my gratitude for your givingness. To all keepers of the flame of the world, I say to you, for this 1988, I extend myself to you. Please extend yourselves to me. In fervent decree daily that we might save many more than might have been saved were it not for your presence. Omritas, Omritas, beloved, Omritas, kiss my own with your violet flame. Seal them, caress them, embolden them. Take them now and let them know the secret chambers of the violet flame it has no bounds, but carries the soul to her infinite habitation in God, 
here and now, wherever, whenever. For I am Saint Germain, and I am in the consciousness of God, yet I am exactly in this court of my beloved Arthur, exactly where you are. Death is not even a portal into this place. It is achieved by entering the fullness of life here and now. This transition in consciousness is the greatest armor and protection for the day of vengeance of our God upon the seed of the wicked, which is concurrently the day of the liberty unto his own. Therefore, goddess of liberty, thou who dost bless this company, let thy light descend and thy stars illumine their way. With hands extended, with heart embracing your own, I remind you of duty, urgency, sacrifice, and unlimited strength from my heart in swift answer to your call. Let the message go forth and let it be heard. I am Saint Germain, standing in the midst of the fire in the mountain of God for the victory of America's destiny. Oh, I am race, come to me. I am your knight commander. Come to me, O oh beloved, and receive the fire of my heart, the co-measurement and ultimately the adjustment, where you two shall stand with me in the center of the flaming flame that is neither quenched nor shall it quench thee. For our God is a consuming fire of all unlike himself. Thou art natives of fire, therefore, Thou art like him. Therefore, from the fire we have come to the fire we return, let it be by increments one daily, for the victory is nigh, beloved. The victory is nigh. Let them then be judged for all of their crimes, and let the records of their crimes be also bound, that these crimes shall not fall upon the people of light as a planetary debt to the universe. So, beloved, they have managed to make you accountable for their monetary debts. But if you say the word, they shall never make you accountable for their crimes against humanity. This then is a singular and very important key. Take it and turn back upon them their infamy. It is the hour, it is the law. So be it, so be it. My love forever goes with you. I am in your heart, Saint Germain, beloved of my own and hierarch of Aquarius. Portia and her angels adorn you with comfort flowers. To comfort, comfort ye, my people.
may shout your response to Saint Germain. Thank you, Saint Germain. Sing to him. Number two thirty seven.